javelin. Do you see anything? I'm not sure. What's it look like on your end? We just dealt with a few guards in the last hallway. How do I look? Like a cop. You look like Jill Valentine. Oh, she's from Resident Evil. It's a video game thing. I can explain later if you want, or I can explain now if that's okay with, sorry. Focus. We'll talk about this later. Well, voila, here you go, boss. Trivia and clock. We're ready on our end. Clear on yours? Hold on. I want to try something cool. When I say go, you open the doors. Three, two, one, go! Where are all the guards? What were you even planning? I was going to drop down on this guy's head. Don't entertain him. Mobius, we're in. I need to walk you brutes through the insertion process. Turn your volume down, now. Sorry, sorry. Do I need to walk you Luddites through the insertion process? This clock disabled the cameras, I can't see you. I'll narrate. Just let me know if I make a mistake. When? If. It's all connected, so any outlet works. Uh-huh. And now I just turn it on, and it will suck everything up. That drive is a digital black hole. It's yoinking about one petabyte of data. A uh, petabyte? Uh, that's... Uh... 1,024 terabytes. Approximately one a lot of data. Gotcha, gotcha. We need to get moving. How much longer is this going to take? A minute, give or take. A minute? I can't even load an episode of Top Gear in a minute. And that thing it's like a Peppa, Pekka, what was it again? Petabyte. Petabyte, right. Where did you get this? Do you want to know? Yeah. Actually, I would. I hacked you, Crane! How many times do I have to tell you? Stop doing jobs for the Russians. It will bite you in the ass. What I do on my own time is my business. Well, not really, since... Dinner's done. We can talk about this later. Let's move. Bon maiton. Bon to you as well. Oh, what's your plan, hon? Apollo Justice! Let me see. Yeah, I'm on case three. It's the one about the foreign music performers and the drug trafficking. <laughs> well, it's not amazing, but I like it because Clavier gets a lot of screen time. That's the guitar guy, right? The one with the steam song that goes do 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 do. Hmm, the ambiguously German guitar guy. <laughs> that song's called Guilty Love, by the way. Spoilers, his rhythm guitarist is the murderer. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. You had me play just a while ago. Except he had really big, stupid hair. Um, I can picture it in my head. What's the name of the shark? I think you're thinking of a goblin shark. I mean, every one of these games has stupid hair, but yeah. Mobius, qu'est-ce que c'est tu vois on the news? Can you, like, let me log on first? Merci. Are you going to... Did I say you could speak? Coffee tastes like garbage. Don't know why I even drink it, lol. Insightful. I think so, yeah. I hate Twitter. So do I. Then why are you on it? Because I like it. Can we just get to checking the news, please? I'll get the wheel. Fine, I guess. Wheel of news, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the stuff that we should learn. Damn it. Ugh. Le rue au parlay. All right, pull up the site. Any news about Cardinal? Psst. 
Yeah, like they'll have a cover story ready in eight hours. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. Son of a... They set fire to their own building? Why? They're getting desperate. Police have ruled the fire an accident. I should have woken up earlier, put something out. Relax, it'll be fine. Once something is said, it's said. Words stick to the human brain like, like a boot in concrete. You good? No! N no, I'm not! It's so hard to disprove something. Th there's no point in even trying. Look, who cares about the credit? We have the info from their servers. There's at least half a dozen jobs we can prove Cardinal what's responsible for now. The credit is the point. We want our names out there. You mean your name? It's not a name. It's a symbol. The world has to know. They have to know that, that we're out there, catching lies and serving justice. I mean, she's not wrong. It is your name. The form is called Crowheads. Yes, but you're not getting it. Cardinal has to know that we did it. Is there anything else in the article? Trust me, he knows. Who else would do something like this other than us? The people have to know that they know that we know. Huh? The public. They have to know that the people in power are afraid of us. What else is in the article? Not much. It's more of a blurb. Look, Henri, we have everything we need right here. Wherever the drive is, everything we need is right there. I think it's still in my bag. Take a deep breath, man. Sorry if it did something to upset you. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just start sorting through the drive. Boom! Are you gonna do something with it? Would you take a bubble bath with someone looking over your shoulder? Only consensually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like some privacy. How did you find her? She found me. Huh. Guess I really know nothing about your origin story. That's not unintentional, though. I, I don't want to talk about it. How did she find you, then? I'm going to be purposely vague with you. Of course, of course. Sage and I used to be adversaries. I just want you to know that that teaches me nothing. <laughs> Absolutely not a nil, zilch. I have no context for what adversaries is supposed to mean. Also, is Sage Mobius? Is that her real name? Wait, <laughs> how has she never told us that? She's been with us, with us for like a year. Shut up. What? Don't say that name out loud. Are you out of your mind? It's going to take some time for Banjo to sort through the petabyte. Banjo? It's what I name the AI that's helping me sift through the data. You name your AIs? You name your bike. Hey, you leave Shelly out of this. <laughs> Shelly? I thought your bike's name was Francine. That's my BMX bike. Keep with the plot, please. Anyways, it's going to be a few hours, so bye-bye. I think I remembered her order, right? Don't run a Peter last time. Ingrid! Holy! They said you were working in the basement. I thought they meant working early. Have, have you been here all night? Hmm? Oh my god, hi Mads. I didn't hear you come in. I've just been working on the case. I, uh, got you some breakfast. Jeez, working, yeah, working. That's certainly one way to describe whatever that is. Oh, well, come here, let me show you. So, this is an affidavit from a low-level stockbroker who claimed that she helped the thief steal millions of dollars from a hedge fund by trading some sales and purchases that the company was making. And this one. This is a Pakistani H-1B immigrant who said he was contacted via WhatsApp and convinced to share secrets about how a prayer app was taking over the government. Do you see the connection? Uh, Robin Hood behavior? Oh, no, 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 you sweet, delicate-minded little sunflower. Oh, let me try one more. Take a look at this. What is this? Is this an app? It's called Discord. Discord. 
My boyfriend's mentioned that before. It's where those online debates. Oh, half used by weirdos. But take a look at the messages. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, it's a strange app. These messages were used to blackmail an entrepreneur behind one of those energy drink companies that Zoomers like. Do you see the pattern? Uh, the internet? No, no, they're blackmailing people. Either blackmailing CEOs and such, or blackmailing people to help them get to the CEOs. Yeah, these messages would make for good blackmail. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Mads. I'm so close, I can feel it! Close to what? To catching the sucker! And then what? Huh? I said, and then what? What do you mean, and then what? Stop asking stupid questions! Eating with your pillow princess? Rude. Not wrong, though. You're not. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's watching Jeopardy, right? Mm hmm. It's like a ritual for her. Has to do it alone, otherwise, she gets stressed. Dumpling? Sure. You have got to make me one of those dark guns. That thing is clean. Oh, a dark gun is far too subtle for you. How about. Oh, a shotgun that turns into a jet ski. <laughs> if anyone can make that a thing, it's you. What's wrong, babe? Uh, Honoré's freaking out about something. Is this some story? I, I don't know. That's never good. Come on, let's go. Cardinal's really throwing away the subtlety, eh? Are we sure it's Cardinal? Of course it is. There is absolutely no way this was an accident. I'll check Banjo. If Danger hired Cardinal, it should be in the records. But I can't run it while having a browser open, so we'll have to wait. Wait, no wait, doesn't matter. We already know what we're going to find. Hypothetically, which agent could this have been? Hmm. Nighttime, explosives. Look here. Police have dismissed reports of a humanoid figure in the trees thus false. Sounds like thrush to me. Okay, so? What can we do about it? Your plan is stupid. Yeah, well you're gonna sit in your damn chair and execute the plan, otherwise... Otherwise what? Otherwise, I might have to change the locks. Did you forget who wants my head? Well, we could try and find thrush. What's thrush? Oh, nothing, nothing. We're, we're talking about birds, don't worry about it. Just tell them. Tell us what. This is Daniela Woods. She's, was, a factory worker at Daintree. She also was pretty close to unionizing her distribution center. She died a few days ago in an accident. We have reason to suspect she was killed by a cardinal agent hired by Daintree. If I have Banjo run a search, he should be able to find the contract. Awesome, if we find the contract, we can leak it to the press, or to the internet, and boom. Reason to suspect. No, no. Why no? We need something more drastic. Drastic? A heist. How? Who? Why? Why? <laughs> Jinx. We need more definite proof. Something flashier. Is a contract not flashy enough for you? Anyone can make a contract. We can't authenticate it to the standards of the media. Oh, I see. You want to have a video of you pointing a gun to the CEO of Daintree's head, or maybe a knife to his fucking throat. Gotta be the hero, right? What? No. No one will care if we just put out a document. You're not wrong, but maybe we should sleep on this? Give us some time to think about it? Us? Sleep on it? What is this crap? This article came out today. No one's gonna care by nine, let alone tomorrow morning. Did you call us crap? Fuck you. Put yourself aside, please. Think about the big picture. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just the idea that it's someone not named Henri who has to put themselves aside. 
Can you not? Yes, actually I can. Remember, I could end you in a sentence. Please, we can talk about this later. All right, all right. Crow, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Let's start planning the heist, yeah. What heist? What exactly are we stealing? We are going to break into the CEO of Daintree's house. Absolutely not! Why? Daintree's already in the news with their drone program. Their top union rabble rouser getting killed just raises the alarm level. Now is the time to strike. I get what you're thinking, but we literally don't need to. You're not thinking straight. I don't care. We're doing this. I'm still hung up on the fact that you think you make all the decisions. You don't. I won't have any part of your ego-boosting scheme. Uh, come on, this is pointless. Please, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> what now? Knock it off, Sage. <laughs> Sage? <laughs> Mobius. Mobius is really with Sage. Shut up, oh. shut up, shut shut. Do not say that name out loud. Uh, what are huh? you telling us? What's going on? Guess the cat's out of the bag. Wait, wait, Henri, let's, let's talk about this. Mobius is wanted. So are we? No, no, I'm like super wanted by several countries. For what? <laughs> Hacking, election fraud, securities fraud, industrial sabotage, treason, blackmail, ooh, revenge porn. What the hell, man? So what? We're all wanted. Oh, don't even try that horse shit. Look, she's incredibly useful. You don't have to like her. She's been helping us in secret since before last year. The only reason she came out of the shadows to join us directly was to escape some heat. Why couldn't you trust us to know this? Mutually assured destruction, Henri. And since you pressed your nuclear button, time to press mine. Wait! The French dick is fake, but you all probably already knew that. His real name is Henry White. He's from North Carolina. My codename comes from science. Yours comes from the knights? Or maybe the military? I don't know. Not that I care. Ever wonder where crows came from? Uh, the Wizard of Oz? That is a stupid fucking answer. No, no, it came from Cardinal. What do you mean? Their code names have a bird motif. Look, okay. Remember when we were talking about thrush earlier? Bird motif. Crow used to work for Cardinal. Mutually assured destruction. I hate Dane Tree too. I hate Cardinal. I want them toppled. Henry, Henri, whatever your name is. If this has been all out for some revenge or redemption for yourself, then this mission has been tainted from day one. Vigilantism isn't therapy. I, 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 I need some air. I wouldn't be mad if you just told us. My parents taught me that in second grade. You're a grown ass man. Don't keep secrets from the people risking their lives for you because you're ashamed. I started this myself. And the silver goddamn crow. Yeah. All right, I'm supposed to get you prepped for interrogation, so if you could just, you know, there's no way to make this not awkward. I heard you've been arrested, but I didn't know that I'd be handling it. The silver crow in the flesh. Oh my God, this is the greatest day of my life. I've been following everything you do for months now. I even made a t-shirt of you on one of those websites. Can I get a picture? Absolutely. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
All right. Time for your appointment. Let's go. Ah, ah God. Ah. We need a few moments to prepare. Who was that? Aaron Pierce. He was destined to be a lawman from the day he was born. Like his father and his father's father and his father's father's father. You get it. Guy's been a cop for uh, who knows how long now. Man's a hero. I, I don't know what exactly he's done, but everyone says it. You are going to tell me every detail of what happened last night. Chillax, it's all in the report. Your report was shit. Yeah, well... Okay, look, I didn't have much to go on. Besides, you probably know more about this guy than I do. Aren't you like some kind of zealot with him? Zealot? What? No! I'm a professional. Then you do the explaining. Who is this guy anyways? I thought I explained it to you when you returned last night. He is called the Silver Crow. Do you remember that one really weird week with the stock market last year? Of course! My brother was flipping out. He made bank. Wait. Did that guy have something to do with that? So, you're a fan? We, we prefer to call ourselves Crowheads. What got you started? The Gotham Gambit. The what? The Silver Crow masterfully manipulating the stock market to reimburse all that the big investors have stolen from them. Exactly 11 months, 8 hours, 2 minutes, and 3 seconds ago, the Silver Crow put out a post online telling people to buy a certain stock. For the life of me, I can't remember what. It was Barnes & Noble. Oh! Somehow, a bunch of hedge funds made trades they didn't intend to at the time. A few hours later, I'd made 6,000 bucks. The only people who got hurt were a bunch of hedge funds and billionaires crying crocky tears on Bloomberg. <laughs> who cares, am I right? Well, th that one was pretty easy for us. Totally hands off. I'm glad to hear you benefited from that. How the hell did he do that? It was just a hack, wasn't it? Not really. You know? The evidence I've gathered suggests that he blackmailed a trader at a hedge fund. I don't really think he's the blackmailing type. Well, what else would it be if not blackmail? I talked to him in the car when I arrested him. Who's the guy that cuffed me? Blake Morse, a greenhorn cop. Pretty energetic. It's kind of funny. And he, of all people, was the one that arrested you. Probably just got lucky, though. He talked to me in the car. He was really delirious and exhausted, but he told me all about his grand ideals and his vision for the world. He thinks he's, well, the good guy. Dude's a freaking Marxist. If there's any blackmail happening, he is not the one doing it. He wouldn't go after rank and file guys, at least that's what I think. He thinks he's some kind of vanguard. Ah! I can't believe he would be so self-righteous. This guy stole millions of dollars in a single day and he thinks he's one of the good guys. He's a criminal, a criminal I was supposed to bring in. So that's Ingrid? You know her? She's some FBI agent totally obsessed with me. When I was a teenager, I would have loved a brunette stalking me. N not anymore, though. <laughs> yeah, I saw her when she walked in. She seemed pretty pissed that a rookie caught the Silver Crow, and she didn't. Don't quote me on this, but I heard that anyone who breaks her concentration frisks the pangle to the face. So, guard, you need to calm I down. I look outside and I see his stupid smug face, and I just want to go! Pierce is right. I understand how you're feeling. No, no, no. I've been doing this, this for what, three times as long as you? Maybe four? You don't have a single iota of what's Sorry, going on. Don't pretend to, like I you have any authority in this whatsoever, you privileged, obnoxious, entitled dipshit! Excuse me? You think I'm that dull? That I won't notice you've been giving me an evil eye since I got here? 
You should notice because I was. Because I think you're a pompous, no talent rookie who's high on his own good fortune. No talent? I'm sorry, who actually caught the silver crow? Not you, but me. He was mine. I focused on nothing else for three years. Three years that, thanks to you, have been rendered meaningless. Three years, and you accomplished? I was so close, I hate him. So I rustled the guy down to the ground and slammed his head into the pavement with the trash can lid. Oh my, I, I didn't know you got that violent. I, I thought that you were always so classy and stealthy-like. Mm, that's by design. I try to keep that stuff on the down low, you see. If the world knew how often things didn't go so smoothly, it would tarnish the whole gentleman thief I got going, you know? Yeah, yeah, I get that. I have a reputation to consider. So, you know what that means, right? What? No posting about what I've told you on the forum. You know about that? What? You thought I wouldn't know? Well, we try to keep it on the down low, you know? I, I, I thought we did a pretty good job keeping this secret. It's invite only, I, I, restricted access, I, ISP? I'm the prince of secrets, monsieur. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Why don't you have an accent? and his stupid French affectation. You want to know something? He's not French, not Quebecois either. He's not Louisiana, not a white Haitian, not even that one town in Maine where they speak French. He's from North Carolina, born and raised in Raleigh. Picked up the French from the books, the classics, Lupin, the Saint, and things like that. C'est une esthétique. Huh. So you're a Francophile? Something like that. My birth name was Henry White, but I legally changed it to Henri LeBlanc after I left my previous employment. Mm -hmm. It's all about the aesthetic. The style, the flash, the sound, the fury. You can do all the good you want. Doesn't matter if no one knows about it. I, I don't know. I, I, I always thought there was some dignity in working behind the scenes. Maybe. So guard. Ingrid. I see him in my dreams. Drink some water. I only got a glimpse of his face once from a low-res cell phone video. He was wearing a mask. Of course, but my brain still put his face into my dreams. Drink. Here! What the fuck? Christ! You think everything's all right in there? Oh, probably. Maybe I should go check. <laughs> do you really want to do that? Well, no, but... Exactly. At least she's awake, I guess. What's wrong with you? The hell is that supposed to mean? I've been chasing this, this thief, for three fucking years and you get lucky once. Can you please have some sympathy for how I feel right now? Big bad Ingrid asking for sympathy. Get over your- Mars! You're out of line. How'd you get here? What do you mean? Here. Do you want the short version or the long version? Uh, seems like we got time. All right, let's see. When I started this whole business, I was alone. I work for a bad company. Have you heard of Cardinal? The security guard people? <laughs> oh, they almost put me out of a job once. Oh, there's so much more to it than that. I was dispatched to a remote village in western China to smoke out a terrorist leader. He was holed up in hiding, and I wasn't supposed to make a scene. So I destroyed their well. A few days without clean water, and he was making a run for it. A lot of people suffered because of me. And even when the leader was locked away somewhere, the group he led just sprouted a new head. <laughs> that was my breaking point. If you try to destroy a pyramid one block at a time, you won't get too far before you give up or die. <laughs> That's what I learned. I was fortunate that I found a partner that was willing to help me make my way out. 
In exchange, I helped her get Cardinal off her back. I, I, I knew it. Knew what? I knew you didn't work alone. On the forum, we were always arguing whether you worked in a team or you worked alone. I always found the team evidence overwhelming. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go on. Uh, Jack, I have a hero complex. I believe I can save the world from greed, imperialism, capitalism, from racism. Is that really a bad thing? Oh, I mean the hero complex stuff. The racism and all that, yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, Blake, you mind going over what happened last night? I'll try, but there might be some stuff that I don't know. I got dispatched to check out a B and E that was reported in one of them rich, rich neighborhoods. When I looked up the address, I saw it was a farmhouse belonging to the CEO of Daintree. About 45 seconds after I rolled up, I saw Mr. Tuxedo fall out of a second story window. Wow. I went to cuff him, didn't even resist, just kind of accepted it. You could say that it seemed like he wanted to get caught, but the more that I think about it, the less that makes sense. Did you say Daintree? Yeah, why? Fuck, can I get the Wi-Fi password? It's fly equals fly, 4133. I was impulsive. I saw something that angered me and felt that I had to act immediately. And if I didn't, I wouldn't get another chance. I went into him quick. I broke into his house, his house. No setting the security camera on loop, no getting the staff on our side. I went in alone. No, actually, it was worse than that. I drove everyone away. Drove everyone away? Oh, look, you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to. Everyone makes mistakes. You can't keep a legend down that easily. It wasn't a mistake. It was a pattern. The end of the road has to be somewhere. I did this to myself. Don't be fooled. So? You screwed up. Even royally. Compare that to 32 perfect heists. Look, I've seen some truly terrible things working here, and I've tried to make it better from the inside. Let me tell you something. I get bullied a lot around here. I, I ain't too strong or tough, and some of the more uh, straight-edge people like to push me around. That guy Blake, he spiked my coffee with paprika once. I'm allergic to paprika. I sat in pain and itchy at my desk all day, and no one even bothered to ask if I was okay. But when I got home, I saw that the stock some crow guy told me to buy during my lunch break paid off big for me. I felt like a somebody again, and I'm sure there are plenty of others who feel that way too. <sighs> but, but I didn't just fail the heist. <sighs> I failed my team. I failed the cause. Would you stop with the self-pity? This isn't just about you. This is so much bigger than you. Thank you. I hope the next person realizes that a lot quicker than I did. Maybe they won't have to. What exactly am I looking at? I saw the story mentioned on the 4 a.m. news the other day. Why are you up at 4 a.m.? I don't know how, and I honestly don't know why, but, but this has got to be the connection. You called me a zealot before, and that word's been stuck in my mind, and I didn't know why. But it makes sense now. He's fueled by ideology, not greed or adrenaline. He went after Daintree to avenge a unionizing worker. I've been approaching the crow all wrong. So long, I've spent trying to figure out how that I never considered why. People aren't being blackmailed to help it. They're doing it voluntarily. Well, at least some of them are. But he's trying to serve. The people that follow him, they truly believe he'll bring... Oh, that's what he told me. He wants to deliver justice. justice. All right, I think we're ready to talk to him. Let's put this to bed. You! Damn it! What? 
did you do? 